Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to Muzzy Rao. Welcome back to another 3v3 TF Air Games where every player in this game, once again, is uh, pretty much an expert in the TF Air Games. So a very, very high level TF game. Over on the right side, we have a team, uh, well, the top side is Team Excal, but on the right is Excal, Excal himself with the Jule Stealth in the purple. Up at the top, we've got Mocha with the USA Air Force with the yellow. Uh, it's the first time we've seen seen him play in the Air Force, so we'll see how that goes for him. Over on the left-hand side, we've got Humanity with the red GLA Stealth. Bottom left, we have Mamo with the uh, blue GLA Stealth. We've got Easy on playing as the uh, signed USA Air Force. Actually, yesterday, I played a couple of games against him with my, uh, my team that's entered the tournament, and we played against him as the Air Force, and he was supported by two, like, kind of random guys. He's very, very good and very, very fast. Gets his Raptors very, very quick across the map, usually hitting, like, that tunnel or hitting that tunnel, and then very quickly wrecking the base. Very, very good and quick. Doesn't mess around. He also likes to go for ranger drops sometimes. You've got to watch him. Uh, over on the right side, we've got Simple playing with a Jelly Stealth um, in the orange color. This th this spot and this spot for the GLAs has advantages. If we didn't mention that in previous games, you'll notice that Excal's quad is less quick. So simple will have like a one or two quad advantage in the beginning. Drone versus drone battle in the middle. Here is this easy on guy, man. He is relentless. First two wraps across the map quicker than the yellow player. And I actually think the south spot maybe has advantage. I, I don't know how, but he has advantage getting his wraps across quicker. And I think the reason for that is the positioning of the airfields. Two airfields for this air force that are here, closer to the cliff. Whereas these two are actually a little bit further back. I mean, there's not much in it, but yeah, it does mean your wraps are out quicker. Easy on does not have a second supply. That's pretty much standard. As we've seen in previous games. Try to split fire there. Does he lose a wrap? Nope. So Mocha just staying on two airfields, building up his wrap numbers, pretty standard. Easy on again. See what I mean? This guy's just relentless, man. Always killing key stuff, stopping that tunnel initially, stops the reinforcements coming, and now hit an oil. Uh, the difference is, though, Mocha opting instead of the oils, he's actually now going to go for this arms dealer. That is the real one, and he's going to catapult himself ahead in XP. So he's actually ahead in XP further than anyone. Easy on picks off the strong quad there. Humanity building up the uh, quad numbers. Excal on the right, if we do a bit of a check on him. Everything seems pretty calm on the right hand side. Mocha coming in potentially for that supply. Mocha seems pretty solid in TFA games, like in all the factions. Usually you get some people that are like really good with stealth and they only play stealth. If they play Air Force, not that's not that good. But yeah, seems like we have some well-rounded players. Easy on comes in, hits the airfield again. Makes sure all of his wraps survive, which is decent. Some players like to put some quads in here sometimes. Maybe a little bit later on though. I think if you put them in there now, they might get like kind of trapped and sandwiched by this player. But Mamo on two oils. So the top team have got to think about that at some point. Here comes some wraps now. Hits a tunnel. Did he kill any quads there? Killed two quads, actually, with the pop. So that's actually kind of nice there from Mocha. Maybe a little bit overkill on that tunnel. But yeah, choosing not to kill the oils for now. So Mamo's still got a bit of a cash boost. Over on the right side. Simple is on a third arms dealer. But it's fake. Excal already building a palace. Yeah, pretty unorthodox building a palace now. A lot of people would have made their uh, third arms dealer already. Excal has tunneled his mate, and Simple has tunneled his mate as well. Easy on actually coming into the base of Mocha. What is he going to hit? He's going to go for the CC. Kills the CC. Are we going to be able to see a dozer hunt here? Why did he not finish a dozer with that? He could have finished one of the dozers, and then Mocha would be really in a panic. Raptor's coming in for Mocha. 
Yeah, the loss of radar not affecting him so much. Excal pushing a little bit over here on the left hand side with just three quads. Simple's been a little bit quiet so far, hasn't he? But you should have a massive amount of quads sometime soon. And maybe be able to push Excal back. Because if Excal's put a few quads over here and gone for a faster palace, then maybe. Uh, maybe he's going to get overrun with quads. I don't know. Seems a bit too quiet on the right side. Yeah, not really so sure about the CC kill. Because he's just rebuilt it. Yes, it's cost him 2k, but is it not better, better to be supporting your mates? Not sure. A double Raptor attack there. Big pop now from Excal. So Humanity and Excal teaming up on the, on the right side. But yeah, Simple's just like insanely quiet. What's he doing? Strategy Center now built in Simple's base. So some people will do this because the carpet bomb will come from there. Carpet bomb might, might come from there and it might have a better angle. Might be able to easily, easier and <laughs> more easily get into the base. If you did it here, the carpet's got to fly all the way across here. This is like the danger zone. Might not reach his target. So yeah, you might be better off doing it there. Yeah, a bit confused why Simple's not pushing. Because what you don't want is Excal to get on a black market and get AP ammo. Because then this attack of all your quads is not going to go so well for you. Palace has been started by, uh, by Simple. Your Mocha's vision. Carpet bomb coming in. Easy on is flying. Oh, why did Mama move into that? So confusing. Easy on was flying over the quads in case the Raps would come in at the same time. Be able to deflect a load of the missiles. Easy on has finished his strat and he should have carpet as well. Got a saboteur from Excal looking for a dozer. Hold the line initiated. Here comes the carpet, and that is legendary. Basically, a whole army there of Excal's quads. It's two big armies of quads there, and half of it is wiped out. Excal does have a load of quads back at home as well, though. But does he have AP ammo now? He probably will be researching it. Simple actually decides to push combined with Mamo, and it's going to be a bit of a deadly attack. There is a battle bus, though. Was that worth rushing out of Palace for? Because it just gets deleted by Raptors. Okay, Loader Raptors now coming in for easy on. As the quads are moving away, they do less damage to these Raps, so a lot of them survive initially, but then when they stop, actually the following Raps then from easy on died. But yeah, that's quite a beast of an army now from Mamo and Simple. Are they able to push in and win the game now? Excal's going to get eaten here, I think. Raps coming in as well, but a lot of Raps going down. Huge, huge engagement, and I think blue and orange combined are going to win this engagement. As they move forward and pick up all the scrap, they'll become stronger, unless, of course, you've got veterans, so it actually makes you weaker when you pick up the scrap due to a get, uh, bug in the game. Are they now going to be able to push into this position? I suppose another benefit of having the strat there is if the Air Force dies later on, and you've the GLA can just set search and destroy and have it already in his base, nice and covered. Also, the carpet would come from there to there if an attack came. Yeah, if an, if an attack came from there to kill the GLA on the side. So I expect to kill one of Excal's markets. Excal does have AP ammo. Simple's getting himself an additional two oils. So yeah, Excal rushed out of battle bus and got AP ammo. But I just think the three arms dealers is too tried and tested. I think the three arms dealers is better. But I think Excal probably experimented a little bit.
So Excal does clear that up, but at what cost? He's lost his palace. He's having to rebuild a market. Uh, Mocha in quite a solid position. Got himself a few drop zones. He does not have the strategy set, though. I don't know why he's not put hold the line or something. Not the cleanest of attacks there from Mocha, especially that one. There was no need for that at all. But he did get the job done in killing the oils. I think it's worth sacrificing the raptors to kill the oils. So how the tides have turned. Now humanity is coming with some aggression to the south. That's his Balbus. Middle building is dead. Not the best attack there from Easy On. Don't know if he was expecting to run into all them quads. So simple still on two oils. The wraps are circling for Mocha though. Are they going to come in for another suicide mission? Easy On will just be flying over the oils. Normally you can fly over and deflect all the missiles when the wraps come in. Carpet Bomb from Mocha. Is that going to be able to kill two airfields? That's actually a legendary hit. That can screw the, the Cyan Air Force over a load. Carpet Bomb comes in for Axcal's base. Damages... Uh, does it kill the barracks? Damages the airfield? Sorry, damages the arms dealer? Humanity now pushing into the South team's base. Raptors coming in for Mocha. Hit a load of these quads. Quads are weakened, and now I think Humanity will be able to push in and do some good damage. Two Chinooks that killed, as well as a bunch of Raps going down. Excal also looking to move out, but Simple is here with two Battle Buses. He has AP ammo himself. Excal's running a bit into a meat grinder here. Third Battle Bus is out. Mocha needs to get his Raps in the air ASAP and kill these uh, Battle Buses. Yeah, potentially a bit of a bad move there by Excal. There is a demo trap here, though. Simple actually choosing to go back. Battle bus for Excal dies. Excal has managed to get himself power with that hijacker we saw earlier, but power is going to be hit. Humanity continues his push, but I think he's going to get stopped now. I think there's too many numbers now for Mamo. Oh, wow. Mocha just got all of his command uh, all of his raptors stop i think now might be the time to actually maybe cancel that drop zone and invest in some more raps gonna need them i think for the battle buses saying that though it doesn't look to be any battle buses here maybe a few of them already got shot a tank comes in and misses the mark because simple is gonna retreat sometimes you can have these amazing quad numbers a massive massive army like this but actually, if you run into a position like that, where it's like a narrow choke point, and then into these tunnels, it can go badly. And I used to think, when, whenever I was a beginner, and I used to think about Twilight Flame, you'd think, why isn't the tunnel there? But actually, if you look at the space in there, the concave you can get on that tunnel is actually bad. It's actually much better to do it more deep into the base, so when they come in single file, then you pop from there. So yeah. Normally, you would expect the tunnel to be like there and there, covering the entrances, but actually back here seems to be the best way once they've completely funneled in. Okay, got to keep track now as all these colors on the map. Got to keep track of what is going on. So easy on trying to come in and do something kills a black market bit only down to the hole. Tunnel there of humanities gets picked off. Hmm, not sure who advantage uh, who's got the advantage.
Easy on has more drop zones than Mocha, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe slightly. Maybe it's about the same, actually. Maybe Easy on has one more. But yeah, popular strat at this point is to come in with the Auroras. And shut down these drop zones. And there's nothing you can do about it to stop these Auroras. I wonder if that Aurora will be able to get out alive, though. Nope. Space to Gunship takes out another drop zone. We know that because the Rangers were there. But there's a massive push now from Simple and Mamo combined. Rav comes in, suicides itself for the battle bus. Carpet bomb from Mocha, maybe a little bit off timed, didn't hit anything. Mocha has been defeated, given power now to Excal. Excal immediately gets all the Raptors in the air. Is he going to set Surge and destroy? I think that's what he should do. Laser defense is ready. What do you got? And shoots down a drone. Uh, still no search and destroy. Definitely think that's worth getting. So Excal has the power now. Might, might be able to spam his way to a victory. If we look at Team Humanity's map vision. Has been placed. Yeah, they can't see anything in the center. That's all fully in control of the South team. Humanity only has three markets or five markets. And a scud. Versus three, four. Four and a fake for Mamo. Simple is on three markets, building a scud, five markets, yeah, five. A beacon has been placed. That's a stealth worker. Simple is now level 5. This could be GG for Excal, you know, because I have no doubt an Anthrax bomb is probably on top of this um, production. Don't know if Excal has seen this or not. Excal's main tunnel now getting hit, so Excal won't be able to pop once that is dead. Humanity coming to help. Does have AP ammo himself. Excal now coming in from here. But he's not... Oh, it's dead anyway, the uh, the strap. But he didn't set search and destroy, I don't think. But it doesn't matter anyway, because it's dead. Might be rebuilding it. Nope. Excal going to lose his palace. Simple going to suicide his army, though. And Frax Bomb comes in. Doesn't do a hell of a lot. There's something about watching these gigantic armies fight. Uh, usually you like to see tanks and stuff, but quad cannons and raps as well. Equally uh, as fun to watch. Did I hear a sneak attack? Uh, I don't know. So many colors flashing around. Here's the sneak. I think Simple might need to get out of there, to be honest. There is too many quads for the top team. But Mamo is here with an insane amount of uh, quads. And they all seem to be GPS scrambled. So whilst this distraction is going on, if you want to call it that, Mamo is able to move in with his own beast of a quad army. So we've got two mega armies on the battlefield. This one and this one. But does humanity have a tunnel to pop here? Probably not. So Mamo wants to get as much damage as he as he can done now. But is this already GG? Because he's getting so much veterancy from these market kills. Turning around to face this uh, this army of Excal, but Excal doesn't have the numbers or the formation really. And Mamo will now be able to finish these markets. If he gets deep in here, he could kill probably all three of these buildings. Mamo also drops a sneak so he can reinforce this and or escape. 
Humanity comes in with an Anthrax bomb, but it is not a great one because the army has moved over here now. That's the problem if the Anthrax bomb is going to take absolutely ages to, to get across the map. It comes the Anthrax bomb from Excal, but Humanity needs to get out of there. And he does. He doesn't have junk repair. He might lose a load of quads here. Loses three. A simple now with another sneaky tunnel. He's got a sneaky tunnel here as well. And these GPS scrambled workers. Sneak attack from Excal. Is he going to be able to realistically get anything done here? There's battle buses, there's a tunnel, there's loads of quads also from Mamo. I think Excal has been shut down there in his tracks. But then there's also another sneaky tunnel from Simple. And now it's looking very bad for the old Air Force base. For the top team. Excal has been defeated. And that is GG. Yeah, these, these sneaky tunnels, man, from these GLA players. You really, really nice to see. You, used, you GPS scramble them. Do you put them on a bike and then GPS scramble them, or does it matter? I don't know. Either way, GPS scrambled workers running around building tunnels everywhere. Yeah, I preferred Simple's build order there. He had the better spot. I think he had the better build order against Excal. And, um... Yeah, it was always a bit quiet on that right-hand side, really, wasn't it? But yeah, nice Air Force all round. Easy on. It's just a, a stunning Air Force player. Mocha uh, had a really good game, actually, but he did lose a few wraps, or actually quite a lot of wraps on the return from a few attacks. Basically lost his entire army. Uh, can we see units destroyed? Units lost, yeah, 57 to 48, maybe. It's just, uh, most of them probably will be wrapped. But uh, yeah, that was a really, really nice game. So yeah, Team Simple gets the win this game time gg well played and i'll let you uh let you know when there's uh, any more tfa games coming up because uh, i've got a few more in my uh in my folder ready to cast as well so yeah with different players as well so yeah gg well played let me know what you thought in the comments and i will see you in the next one